All right, guys. So it was brought to my attention today that the DGT Pegasus app had been updated. So I went to the Android store and checked it out. Well, that was not updated. So I asked the person who notified me about the Apple app. But in the meanwhile, I had just wanted to check because I actually have an Apple device you see here on the screen. They updated the actual app in the app store, which is amazing. Because when you read the description of the fixes, you know how I normally to tell you a little list. This is just says rebuilt from scratch. So I'm expecting this app here to work nothing like version one, because this is version two. And it actually even looks completely different. So let's just take a look at what we have here. This is the screen you're going to see. Not not the very first splash screen you see when you open, because you're going to see just that same screen. But this is what you see here. So up top, you see my rating. That's my classical rating so i think they're using your classical rating here um you can do off play uh, offline game recorder meaning if you want to, want to play an over the um otb game with, with a friend ongoing games for example um if you played a game i guess and paused it with somebody else or was playing with yourself or something you could go back to that game um you can pick a random opponent i'm assuming that means online Ongoing games could also be online too. I'm not entirely for sure about that, but again, this is all new to me. Uh, challenge is just obviously you're gonna challenge somebody online. Um, and then, uh, hold, let me go back here, to here, go back to here. And play computer is interesting because now they actually had an option where they don't have a computer built into the app, but you can go to the lead chess and play the bots levels one through eight, which is, you know, which is pretty good. I mean, so you can have some offline play. The only still difference is that you are at the, not only are you at the mercy of the app, but you're still at the mercy of the internet. But be it as it may, this board does have a lot of third party support, such as White Pond, Lucas Chess, uh, and Chess Dojo. But I love the fact that the actual first party app, they have taken the initiative to make a seemingly totally different app so what we're going to do we're just going to dive right in we're going to play us a game online and we're going to play a human online we're going to play the bot online again i'm going to try to keep make some simple games here so we're going to play let's do uh let's see not rated uh and this is good i give you the colors i'm going to select white and i'm going to do a five plus five game and uh let's see what happens here challenge setup and um, let's see, how do you start this out? It says select friend. Uh, select friend. Okay, no friend. I'm trying to see what, what challenge a friend. Okay, so I guess that's not challenge a friend. Okay, random opponent. Okay, here we go. This is where you play rent. That, the other case, okay, so that's interesting. I just really noticed that you can actually pick a friend. So we have a friends list, which is great. Pretty awesome stuff that they've done here. So you still, let's see, uh, we're gonna pick white, not rated, uh, range restriction. Okay, you can pick all these restrictions here, no restrictions, all these plus or minus rating. And again, it appears that it's using your classical rating at this time. So the uh, custom time uh, here, let's go to, uh let's see so your minimum they, they won't allow you to play a five five game so it's minimum 10 minutes okay that's an oversight i wish they would bring a five five game here um let me let me check the actual let me hit cancel and make sure the five five is not on this list so there's no five five game here on this list if i want to play a random opponent on lee chess so that's kind of um, that's something that they need to update again. Because if you pick time selection, the, the first time you go to is 10 minutes. That is the absolute minimum you can play. And five, five should be the absolute minimum. OK, so let's anyway, we're just going to hit a 10 minute game. All right. I guess 10 plus five now because I want some increment in case things get a little fussy here. So let's see if you can actually get online because I remember. Um, um back in uh i guess the middle of last year whenever um you couldn't really it was i don't even think i've ever even played a game online with um 
with um you know with with with, with their actual app to be honest. maybe I did I can't even remember so anyway let me see something here if you turn it like this uh, it's a way you can get the the um the clocks just to show up and that's the most important thing let me see what you got to do here claim victory okay he brought his queen out okay Okay, so it uses your rating, okay? It, my, the rating you see on the first screen was the um, classical rating, but it looked like it uses your rating relative to what you're playing. So here, this is rapid, so they're using my rapid rating here. Okay, so uh, everything seems to work well. I mean, this is, I mean, this is so far so good. I don't have any um, complaints about anything. I'm just trying to figure out how can you get the... Um, Oh, you can even give your opponent 15 seconds just like on Lee Chess. Pretty, pretty awesome. What is going on here? What? Okay. Well, he has 600 rated. Okay, so he goes here. His name is Dan Scroll, rating 600. Okay. All right, Dan Scroll. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and castle because maybe Dan Scroll has a trick up his sleeve. I'm not entirely for sure. But it is a way you can get both clocks on the screen. I do remember that from the old um, version, and I still would think that that would be standard in this version here as well. All right, so let me pull this up here. Okay, so he takes this. Okay. And I'll just take this here. Dan is in a charitable mood here, it looks like. I'm not sure this actual, is this a, no, this can't be a computer. This, this, this must be somebody trolling or Dan rating 600. Yeah, he, he, he might legitimately be 600 though. I mean, because again, this is a human plan, I believe. Yeah, because again, I, um, let's see, he goes A5. Interesting. Um, well, might as well just go here. Take this. He may give me his rook and checkmate. Let's just see what happens. Yep, that's exactly what what I thought would happen. And so there you have it. That is a checkmate. Um, I'm not obviously I'm not proud of that game at all. Um, but it, it it's good for demonstration. We can see that you can easily get a game online here. It seems to be works quite well. Again, I know that's only one game. That's my first time opening it. So you saw it in real time, the very first time I did it. Um, so let me, <clears throat> excuse me, let me flip that back over here. Sorry if that was off to the side, but um, let's go back here. Okay. Let's hit X. And now what we're going to do, let's set the board back up here. Let's just set the board back up here. And we are going to... We're going to play with a bot, a Lee Chess bot. I mean, if this works, and I'm sure it will based on that... Um, I mean, I think they so far, I mean, the, the app is they so far what I can tell. Um, they've done a good job so far on the app, as I can tell. Again, if you can just consistently play online, because, again, this was slated as an online only board. And it still really is an online only board, technically, um, with sort of the minor exception that you can play OTB, which makes sense because it would you, would you, you I mean, you shouldn't not be able to play OTB and put the board. All right, so we're going to go just a, uh, let's go with white. Um, let's just go level two just to give it a little boost here. Five plus three seconds here. I better go five plus five because sometimes these computers, I'll even go level three. Level three sometimes I think is where it starts to get a bit tricky. So I'm going to play it on level three. Five plus five seconds here. Wow, okay. I know, it's, again, I know it's a way you can get the clock to show up, but again, this app is built from scratch, and um, I'm not entirely for sure how you do it just yet, so just, just I apologize for that, but um, um, 
But um, I, I, again, if you go back and look at any of my older videos, you, you'll be able to see that. Okay, okay, level three has a good opening book here because <laughs> it's not playing so bad. Um, okay, well, let's just go ahead and uh, strike in the center here, see what happens. He's probably going to take it. But again, he would know better than to take it, being a good Dutch player that he is. Let's see here. Queen takes, makes sense. Uh, I mean, it sort of makes sense, but I mean, what made more sense would have been bishop takes. Well, either way, um, yeah, it makes sense to take bishop take because you can actually even trade the bishop for the knight. Now you have to move the queen, so he kind of lost the tempo on that. And um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and fork. Let's go ahead and fork a rony right here. He wants to, he wants to give a little fork a rony. So he castles. Interesting. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the electric boogaloo this way here. Because again, so he's probably going to take with the queen. Okay, he takes here. I thought he was going to take the pawn with the queen, but I was because I was going to I was going to do this intermezzo here. Take with check here first. Okay, king takes and now rook takes. Let's see, is he going to take with the rook? So he did not take with the rook. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so let me just develop my bishop then with tempo. Okay, now that's interesting because uh, I could get a free piece here, right? Yeah. I'm going to go right here. Go check with my G2 bishop. Oh, it's not a free piece, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was. I was a little too excited there, but uh but you know how it is. I don't even know if I even want to take that by the way. Okay, I'll go here first just to see what he do. I'll attack his knight first just to see what he does. Let me check the time out here. Yeah, I know I got to be the way to see the time on the screen because I can't see the time on my screen. Now I can't even see how much time I have left. Oh, man, I missed that. I can't, can't give him two pieces there. So he comes over, which is interesting. Okay, I'll take it. So it has got to be a way. I'm trying to see if I tap the screen some kind of way. Will the clock show up here? If I scroll up and down or scroll left and right, will it come up? No. Got to be a way here. Trying to figure that out. Let me just pull my rook over here to see if I can threaten a pawn here. Okay, nice. Um, what do I want to do here? My bishops lined up pretty nice, but I don't want to really give those up here. I don't want to make a passive move. How can I make anything? Not, you know, I don't think I can make anything. Of, I'll tell you what I could do. I'll come back like this then. Yeah, because what my idea was to come here like this. Because I'm a threaten. Okay, so he moves his knight out. Okay, well, take this. takes here. Well, obviously, I'm going to take this guy here, without a doubt. 
That should be almost checkmate, shouldn't it? All right. Okay, so he goes here. Um, what would be the most stylistic? Let's go right here. That's a check. See what he does. He steps up and um, let's go here because I'm threatening mate actually. With bishop to c hey this guy's good let's go here first then since he since he didn't want to give me the mate I was after um I'll go this way. I know he's probably gonna go king takes pawn. Yep, king takes pawn. And let me see if I can work a mate out here. I know it's a mate here, just uh, I think. Yeah, because again, he got this square here, this square here. Um, okay, let's go here first check. <clears throat> then I'll come up with a check on, uh, yeah, come with a check here. This is almost made. I think it's got to be made some kind of way here. I'm not entirely for sure how. Just yet. Okay, so I know if I go here, it only has one move. Okay, here. She cannot work a mate out. I know that I can go here, but either way, that would. Uh... Yeah, I don't think he can stop me if I go here. He can't stop me. I'll just take it up. And then the next move is mate. I don't think he can do anything to stop the next move from being made yet. That's it. That looked like a mate. Nice. Well, um, well, I gotta say that the app works as advertised. You can play online, you can play with a friend, um, and you can't, well, I haven't played with a friend yet, but I would think that because both of these work as advertised, I would guess that if you have a friends list, you could play with a friend very easily. So with that said, um, I'd like to say, wow, thanks DGT for upgrading your app here or updating or rebuilding it from scratch. Um, I'm sure this will help with board sales because now, because a lot of people that buy these boards may not, um, you know, be interested in looking up third party apps. They might just want to use just the app you know, when you first open up the board, they're going to have literature in there about, oh, download the app from here. And that might be the only app they have experience with. And if they get that experience with a with a bad app, they might not even want to look for a third party app. So this is a welcome addition. Again, thanks. Uh, I like to thank DGT for doing this. And um, well, I, I, I love to see when these boards get the proper support and the due diligence they should get.